Right now, California state law prohibits smoking in a business unless it happens to be part of a theatrical production where smoking is integral to the plot. So if Ellen added a small audience section to her bar and then classified every patron as an actor in a free-form play, the 1881 Club would become the only drinking hole in town where people could legally smoke. Life isn't easy for smokers these days, as smoking bans throughout America have made the outdoors the only option for lighting up. But hit worst of all has been the bars, and proprietors like Ellen Sanser of the 1881 Club in Pasadena, California, claim that smoking restrictions have caused her profits to plummet. We lost a lot of our customers. Our business went down by half. As a smoker herself, she's not happy. So I paid Ellen a visit with a way she might be able to return to those profitable glory days. In my opinion, smokers shouldn't be treated like second-class citizens. Absolutely. If anything, they should be treated better than the rest of us because they're going to die so young. Or at least as well as the rest of them. Right. So you think people should be allowed to smoke in here? Yeah. Well, I might have a way to make that happen. OK. Right now, California state law prohibits smoking in a business unless it happens to be part of a theatrical production where smoking is integral to the plot. So if Ellen added a small audience section to her bar and then classified every patron as an actor in a free-form play, the 1881 Club would become the only drinking hole in town where people could legally smoke. That could be possible. I never thought about it, turning it around that way. Well, most theater is terrible. Yeah, I've seen a few bad ones, yeah. yeah. So who's to say a bar filled with smokers can't be a boundary-pushing theatrical experience right. in the eyes of the law? It's an idea. It's definitely an idea. Ellen was thrilled at the prospect of bringing smokers back to her bar. So the next day, I had my team bring in a couple of theater seats to create a small audience section, and then throw up a curtain to complete the theater experience. I also chose a title for the play, Smokers Allowed, that would conveniently double to attract clientele. Then put up a sign on the door informing patrons that by entering the bar, they're legally agreeing to be actors in a theatrical production. So when nighttime came, I headed to some other bars in the area to get word spreading about LA's hottest new smoking destination. You gotta smoke outside here, huh? Yeah. Have you been to uh, 1881 Club? 1881 Club. They allow you to smoke there. So how do they allow that? Like, like what's, is it a loophole? Or? Yeah, loophole. What's the loophole? Theater law. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. My promotional efforts seem to be working. All right. Smokers unite. Because within minutes, customers began arriving at the 1881 Club for a night of legal indoor smoking. As a final precaution, I had two women recruited from the theater district who were interested in seeing an exciting new play. So for two? For two. Okay, you're in luck. We have two uh, front row seats still available. Very cool. I knew an audience would be the final piece to legitimize my production in the eyes of the law. So with the women in their seats, it was time to begin the show. All right, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. So it took a lot of work to get this play off the ground. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil anything. But all I'll say is I hope you enjoy this as much as we enjoyed making it. So without further ado, smokers allowed. <laughs> <laughs> My plan was working great. People could now smoke freely without the bar having to worry about any legal repercussions. And with the audience shoved away in the corner, hardly any customers seemed to notice they were there. Best of all, I had never seen Ellen look happier. So after an hour and 20 minutes, when the bar crowd started to dwindle, I decided to close the curtain and say the play was over. All right, so that's it. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed Smokers Aloud. It was a successful evening, but then something happened that I never expected. The audience actually seemed to enjoy the play. Oh man, they were awesome. Yeah, yeah, they, they were. were awesome. It's so funny because it's like so nothing in a way, but incredibly profound. It reminded me of Sam Shepard. I didn't really know what to make of this. After all, these ladies could be total kooks. But if what happened in there somehow had genuine theatrical value, it could be a whole new source of revenue for the 1881 Club. 